อาฮาอันนี้เองเราจะก็เพิ่มสีช่วยได้ที่ช่วงออกช่วงแน่เอชวันสตรอมันอาฟัสเอชวันฟัลซี่มันเราจะก็เพิ่มสี wherein somebody not attack the person's arguments but actually um, the l u t e d perception of someone that somebody have from some group where he or she to b e l o n g s for example you say uh, and it's some common mistake that r e l i o u s Most the time, make when they say they are not a religion. When religion come from the word religio, and if you are criticizing that atheism is wrong, religion, because it come uh, religion come from the word religio, and that is uh, means to bend and. It means um, actually that you have one bond. If you understand what my means, um, if you ask me the most realistic and the most honest definition of a religion is one fundamental set of beliefs, general agreed by a number of people or sects. That's in my opinion the most realistic definition of religion. The most atheists claim their religion is atheism, but then there have a lot of problems. Um, what are coming in which? Because Buddhism have also not a religion, and some Jain sects have also not a god or deity or something like that. And Confucianism. And Taoism have also not one god. And I can uh, put up some other religious religions that have no gods. So the claim that atheism is not religion is one uh, full of deception. Yes, me. Uh, but when the atheists say that since uh, you attack atheism or the fact that they are religion, you are a n t h e i s t you are a, a religious person or religious folk, that's a logical fallacy on the zone because you don't have to be a n t h e i s t Don't believe you don't have to believe in a god or something like that. To say that uh, atheism is in a kind of religion. One other example of a strawman fallacy is when somebody say that um, climate change is bad, and then some other person say um, that then since climate change is bad, we have to stop driving cars. Um, that's not what the person say. He say climate change is bad. It can also mean that we have to stop eating animals because animal products are the main cause of climate change. Yes, indeed. According to the World Watch Institute, and a study um, in 2017 actually calculated that animal agriculture is responsible for 42.6. Billion tons of carbon dioxide, or 51% of the greenhouse gas emissions. So, you don't need animal products to survive. You don't need eggs that come from the cloaca of a chicken. You don't need um, dairy, good as milk for baby calves. Not for us. You don't need flesh. You don't have large canines. Look, that's like large canine tail, like a lion half. No, 
These are flat teeth, like the teeth of a cow or one horse. Not like a lion, not like a bear. We can also see so good in dark. True carnivores. I like the way rotten meat tastes. And they are very good at seeing in the dark. Unlike us. Another example uh, of a uh, straw man fallacy is when people say, Oh, you are not for uh, pacifism, so you are, uh, violent. you are for violence in any situation. No, when people say that they are not a pacifist or not for non-violence, that don't believe means that they are for violence in all situations. They only state that they are not for non-violence in any situation. They can, uh, for one part, act only uh, in pacifist, activist ways. For example, giving lectures. But they can say that because they know that if you look to the history, we have, have always have some bit of violence needed to change the mindset of the oppressors. I mean, the Allied forces looked to uh, on the ideology of Nazism from the position of the Jews, the victims, and therefore they go uh, to destroy uh, concentration camps and kill some Nazis. That stopped the uh, Holocaust. One other example is that the South in America was vigorous attacked by the North and that uh, have stopped the slavery. It's not because uh, the slave masters get an epiphany and say, think, oh, we are a uh, bunch of, of the things we have done was terrible and we are a bunch of savages. No. Sadly enough. Victimizers most of the times don't change their evil ways. I mean the people who are complacent in the violence. The people who are uh, not complacent in the violence, yes that can change. People who are not com are being uh, working in the places and don't uh, get their money from paychecks from the savage industries to meet their own industry. They are more likely to change. And you can say that some uh, people in the system themselves of animal up cults you know, can change, but yes, they can change, but the majority of the time there are such dickheads that they don't want to look to the options we vegans present to them. So, if they don't want to take that uh, uh, ideas that we will give them, so how do, who, do the fuck care about people who are working in uh, concentration camps uh, that would call so you've missed me uh, solar houses yes indeed but what I would say with that even I am not for 100% for pacifism that does not mean that I am for violence in any situation, nor that I support pacifism in any situation. Violence has its place. I don't like it, but I'm being also honest. If we can bring justice for the victims, the animals, with using solely pacifism, I'd be for it, but I'm also a realist. We vegans are the only people who pray this pacifism. The people in the slaughterhouse were in slaughterhouse don't practice pacifism. They're, they're practicing violence, and pacifism works only when you are 
talking to people who are moral, or a system who is moral. I hope you understand what I have to say. And I hope you don't use uh, strong and fallacies anymore. Go, here you go.